Okay, this reading is going to be for Cancer. Cancer, hi. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. I intend to co-create from my place of positive attraction. Okay, so... Okay, so if you see th see things in the physical reality, right, that have you all riled up. Okay, well, the key is to just take your focus off it, off of it. Okay, and then don't waste energy trying to prove trying to prove your point. Okay, I don't, I don't feel like. So that's like defensive mode. Okay, so defensive mode. All right. Hmm. So that's more like internal energy. Okay. So maybe you've been brewing on some stuff here. Okay, so let's keep going. My every thought is attracting its vibrational essence. Okay, let's read this. Whether you are thinking about wanted things or unwanted things, you are still sending out a request to attract more things like the subject of your thought. And all things that happen to you, all people, things, experiences that come to you, Come in response to vibrational invitation. Well, this kind of sounds like Scorpio energy. Okay, that I just... the um, Okay. Noticing how things are turning out for you is one very clear way of understanding which vibrational requests you are emanating because you are always getting the essence of what you are thinking about, whether you want it or not. All right. Ooh, this card's coming up again. Flawed premises can attract true unwanted evidence. Okay, so let's say, for example, that you said someone was, you believe someone's a liar, right? Okay, so because you think that that person's a liar, it's like then there's going to be energy to seek that out to prove that to you, whether it's true or not. If you were to hear a false premise again and again until you, you yourself began to believe and repeat it, now your own activation of the contradictory vibration would interfere with your sense of intelligence and you would begin to attract evidence of your belief, in effect proving the false premise to be true. And so it becomes increasingly hard for you to call this a false premise when the evidence seems to be telling you that it is true for over time, you come to believe it is true. And then that actually gets locked in, right? It feels like it becomes your belief system. And then that gets in your energy, right? And then that can even come in your energy as density. It's like putting a brick on there, right? Okay, so take a look at that because it showed. this is the third time it showed up. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay, that which is unlike to itself is drawn. Everything that you perceive is vibration, and the life you are living is your vibrational interpretation. When you give a thought to something, you begin the attraction process of the essence of that subject to your life experience. Once you have activated a thought vibration within yourself by giving attention to the subject, the progression, the progression of the expansion occurs. Okay, so let's say you decided to be positive today, and then you decided that you have good luck, right? So because you believe you have good luck, then let's say you go to the store and you buy a scratch off card and you scratch it and you win a million dollars and you're like, whoa, I am lucky, right? So it's like, and then after that, you, um, you, you feel really lucky. So then um, you find out that um, a friend calls you and wants to uh, invite you on a trip and you've always wanted to go on a trip with that person somewhere. Things like that, right? Okay, so. My relationship will change when my vibration changes. Okay, so. I've already read this card before. So, um, manifestations are a good way to... Uh, so if you have a lot of things that are manifesting in the now that you're really happy with, usually that's a good sign. Okay, so let's get out of good and bad. It, 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 it's a positive sign. Okay, and if you see something that you're not so sure, then you would just move in more positivity and see, then keep looking, right? But I don't know, it's like it's there's a fine line there because you kind of want to look and not look, right? Because if you keep looking for evidence, then there's that that leans into not trusting also. So you want to trust more. I can praise abundance wherever I see it. Okay. Okay, so if you felt like Okay, so if you're receiving criticism from people, right, ask yourself, where have I been critical and criticizing people in a way that uh, is not uh, compassionate and kind, right? Okay, so there's this. This came up in another reading. Okay, so discernment is just... It's like being able to see the details and understand it, right? But what where that gets tricky is, um, is j that judgment. You start judging people, okay, with that criticism, then that will uh, more than likely return in one form or another. So uh, that would be your work if that was you, is to kind of release that kind of stuff. Yeah, and then I feel like your vibration will raise or rise, and in that way, whatever you are fighting against or trying to prove that this and that uh, would fall away. Why would it fall away? Because you're in a, a vibration that 
Um, it wouldn't even come near you. Okay. So my relationship will change when my vibration changes. Yeah. So I feel like that could be part of this too. Okay. Now let's see what planet stuff is going on here. Okay, well, good news. Look, the positivity's here. <laughs> okay, all right, so there's, okay, Cancer, I, I get this. Okay, so, okay. The sun transit is going to get ready to uh, go into, uh, in this next, I feel like it's kind of, uh, the sun to me feels like it's kind of bouncing around between, Capricorn and Sagittarius, but I don't feel like it's really technically supposed to be there um, according to uh, astrological stuff, right? Okay, so that would be next year. But I feel like there's an, uh, there's an undercurrent here of the sun energy in Capricorn. So the good news is if you've been low vibrating doing that stuff that we just mentioned, this illumination, this undercurrent of the sun, will um, have you um, in higher spirits. Okay. So you'll feel uh, a greater sense of purpose and destiny, and I feel like you'll be doing that kind of stuff. Okay. Now, I feel like it has to do with not just lo uh, business, but also love, too. So I feel like this will be a positive thing. Uh, coming into the new year here. Okay. Now, ooh, okay, so... Okay, so this Uranus energy, uh, I associate it with Aquarius. Okay, so that's like you're doing something leading edge or very different. Okay. So, um, and uniquely different. Okay. All right, so this energy is freedom-loving and rebellious. Okay, uh, idealistic and technological. Okay. Okay, so with this Uranus energy, it probably shifted some things in your life to uh, get you uh, going with faster momentum on your course plan of action. Okay, your track. Okay, so now that might have been like that song, uh, the track stars running or something, but I feel like that was part of the plan. I don't think it's, uh, you, uh, if in your mind you criticize it, I feel like though uh, that was all part of the plan. Okay. Now, this is the energy that you, I feel like, have been using to, um, it's that boss energy, right, to uh, be in your power. Now, the tricky thing with this is if you're harnessing this energy to be the boss lady or the uh, boss man, right, okay, um, you want to be spontaneous, right, um, when it comes to this kind of stuff, flexible and flexible is a big key word. Um, not over controlling. Uh, it's like moving in your truth and by you moving in openness in your truth, uh, I feel like that would be, uh, speak for itself. Now, with this, you want to watch out for uh, sharp words here. Aquarius energy is like, 
you would want to watch out for kind of a that cold demeanor on the outside right warm it up a little bit right okay and then here is the Aries energy okay so um, so if you came into contact with Taurus or Uranus is in Taurus right now or Aquarius and you kind of had the same kind of looks kind of cold here Okay, so they might have been reflecting that back to you in some way or another. All right. All right, now here's that Aries energy. So it's like bring that, that fire energy and warm it up here, right? If this is your love interest, Taurus. This could be Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, or Leo. Or you could be, this could be you because you could be a Leo cusping cancer okay all right i leave that with you cancer thank you